Hey, this is Chris with Perkins Motorplex. This is gonna be a wet one. I'll do my best. It is pouring rain right now. This is the uh, 2022 Mercedes GLC 300. Stock number 368381. Just gonna walk you around here quickly. Try to give you a good look at the overall condition of the vehicle. As you can see, you're not gonna see anything there that jumps out at you that says, hey, I'm a problem. No, no, no kind of a serious uh, cosmetic issue. You know, no dents that I can see, nothing like that. There may be a, a door ding or a, or a minor scratch here somewhere. It is going to be really difficult to tell today, but I'm going to do my best for you. Just kind of move you around the vehicle initially here. I'm moving about six to eight feet away, just giving you a, a good look there. I'm back away. So there you have it from about 12 feet away from the vehicle there. Again, you'll see it's in great shape. Let's move in here and take a look down the passenger side. Again, difficult to tell on a rainy day. There may be a door ding there. Like I said, I've seen this vehicle numerous times when it's not wet. I don't remember anything that stands out to me. As far as the wheels and tires go, that wheel looks good. I did not see any curb rash there. Tires are not new, but you do have a significant tread depth left there. They're not going to need replacement immediately by any stretch door panels all look to be really good here same thing with this wheel on the back here don't see anything that stands out to me as damage there again nice nice tread depth not new but very good and down the body panels there and across the back don't see anything with this back bumper that would be an issue for you down the panels on the passenger side. Again, don't hear me saying there's not a door ding. There may well be, but I'm looking, trying to find them. Very difficult in the rain. I don't see anything to point out to you. Wheel back here also looks very good. You know, everything's really consistent with the year and the mileage. Just not gonna be a whole lot to show you, I don't think. Front here as well. That wheel looks good too. Let's see if I can swipe across the hood here at all. Let's see if I can see anything to show you. Again, there may be one there, a rock peck. Super difficult to find and I'm not seeing anything that jumps out at me. Let's take a quick look inside. You do have two key fobs with this one. Hatch area looks really good. Carpet's all very nice back here. Nothing to see there. Take a quick look in the back. I don't pick up on any unusual odors. Just not seeing much to show you of anything here. It's in really great shape. If I was buying it myself, it'd be way, way up there and on the, uh, way, way up there on the ones that I'd be considering for sure. I'm gonna put my umbrella down here and set in the front of the vehicle. Bear with me one moment. Here we are up front. Again, typically if you're gonna get wear, you'll see it here and here. Just not seeing anything like that to show you. So you get your factory mats here. Not much to show. There's your map. On the dash here, you will see the low tire light. We've gone from uh, 60 degrees down to negative degrees and back up to about 60 today. I feel certain that's just a temperature issue with the pressure in the tires, but would certainly remedy that to you before we brought that thing up there. You can hear the audio working as it should. I don't see anything that would turn me off on this vehicle at all. It may not be a 10, but it is a very high nine. If I can help you, if there's a particular area um, that you'd like for me to address, I'll be happy to. It shows 12,156 miles on it now. 
Certainly qualifies for an extended service contract up to 120,000 miles on the odometer. Certainly want to talk with somebody about that if that's something you're interested in. Let me know if I can help. Have a great afternoon.